it's, it's definitely an honor. You know, not everybody gets to be in this position. So just taking it uh, and being humble, taking it one shot at a time, not really getting too absorbed in who's here, who's not here, just going out there and just playing your playing your butt off. And you know, you know you've know, you been doing this for, for however long. You know, I've been doing it for a month and a half uh, straight. So I've just just kept the same focus regardless of whoever's in the building. But it's definitely an honor to uh, play in front of legends like that. You know, my shooting has been ruled inconsistent. You know, um, didn't shoot the way I wanted to, to today, but you know, I still got the good feel, got a good rhythm. But uh, just that's what I've been hearing a lot. You know, and uh, can't really showcase your defense in, in the pro day, but uh, just going out there and showing how, how good of a shooter you are and how consistent you are, and the positive attitude, and just being the leader on, on the court. I think obviously to get on the floor, you got to play defense. And playing for Coach P, you know, uh, he's all about defense. You don't get on the floor unless you play defense. So I think that'll be the uh, most standout-ish thing I, I could definitely do is uh, how I, my willingness to defend and my ability to defend. And now uh, being able to shoot the ball, you know, knock down open shots. You know, I'm not going to be able to take 20 shots like I did at Louisville, but uh, just going out there and just knocking down certain shots when, when you're open and being able to defend, and that's the most important thing. Eliva was out confidence, to be honest. Uh, that's all it is. You know, definitely having the ball in their hands a lot more definitely helps. But Coach P sat me down and said he needed a star, and I, I took it upon myself to just go out there and play with confidence, don't get too high and get too low, and just, just focus on knocking down shots and making everybody better around me. Um, just being consistent, you know, performing, a, uh, getting into a routine. You know, I have a pretty, have pretty solid pre-game routine, but having that routine, eating habits, uh, everything being a pro, you know, there's no study hall, there's no class, and now putting the time and effort into your craft is what is really going to separate you from everybody else. Um, being able to guard one through three, you know, I played against guys like Paul George, and played against guys like Chris Paul, two vastly different players, um, and, and guys like jo Jordan Bell. <laughs> He's uh, the, the just being able to guard all all positions, and I feel like it's something that's unique. Not all positions, you know, one through three, especially at my size. I think I have the strength to guard the three spot. Not all threes, you know, but some guys are three spot. And just being able to guard, stay in front of guys. Losing 18 pounds between freshman and sophomore year really helped me become quicker laterally. And, um, and as you saw at the combine, just being able to get up and down the court uh, and, and, and fast and just being able to go out there and just defend all three spots. Um, I, I just feel like I can use my length and it definitely gives me an advantage over others. I think I can do both. You know, I look at Avery Bradley. He's the guy that does both. He can hold Kyrie to sometimes 11-point games. You know, and, and, and he did that this past series. And I just want to be able to do that and guard the best player, and not necessarily contain him to 11 points, make their shots difficult, make it hard. And I think it starts on defense of whether I can be a point guard or a shooting guard. You know, you can learn the offense. That's the easy part. But being able to guard John Wall, Westbrook, Kyrie, Chris Paul, Tony Parker, that's the hard part. Never be outworked and being a perfectionist. Um, I could have the best shooting night of my life and I'll still find something wrong with it. And that comes from, from him. You know, we could have the best game we've ever played and it's still something we have to work on for the next practice. And that's just him being a Hall of Fame coach. And uh, defense, you know, you, if a guy, if you hold a guy to 10 points, why'd he score 10? You know, there's always some room to improve and um, never getting too high and getting too low. I think so. One, you, you kind of have no choice. You know, it's, it's, it's either you're efficient or, or you sit. And I think just being able to develop that is my decision making. You know, being at Louisville, like I said, you can take 15 shots. But as long as you play defense, it doesn't matter what type of shots you take. So now you play on certain teams, you have, you're not the star, you're a role player. You're going to get two, three shots, but you got to be able to knock those shots down in order to make an impact as well as defend. Um, just don't let it, don't think about it. You know, it's, it's easy to hear about it. Everybody I know from home is, Oh my God, your lottery of this, lottery of that, but you know, you just gotta stay with it. I treat myself as the same noise I've been hearing since I left the draft. As some people even said I was second round. So, you know, I just look at that, I say, all right, I feed off of that, I, I enjoy it. The more people that say I'm lower and lower, I, I enjoy that. I'd rather that than hear that you're a lottery pick, but I'm blessed to be in this position. I just wanna keep working and working as if I have something to prove. Great stuff, man. Thanks so much. Thank you so much.